Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Rimuru x Harem, Regret and Returning into the Past. By Peaches 0531 Chapter 28 Currently inside Rimuru's office at Tempest. Another girl came rushing in, she had long golden hair, it was Velika. Ha! 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 Uncle Rimuru sorry for causing a ruckus. Then Velika rushed towards Veluna smack, ouch, Oni-san. Veluna while rubbing her head where Velika smacked her with a folded paper. Velika noticed the girl right in front of them and instantly hugged her. E-H-H, W who are you? Velzard was surprised she didn't expect a random girl would suddenly hug her. Aunt, Velzard. The girl while shoving her face into Velzard's chest. Cough, I was planning to tell you about this later on, but who knew they would actually come here instead? Rimuru while still doing some paperwork so I should pretend that I am busy, after what Velina said about Velzard earlier, I don't want to take part in any of this good luck Veldora, Rimuru thought. What do you mean Rimuru? Velzard asked while confused. Velika please introduce yourself, Rimuru said while looking at Velika. Velika then released her hug from Velzard and bent her head a little in a noble manner. I am Velika Tempest, the oldest daughter of the storm dragon Veldora Tempest, I am really happy to have finally met you Aunt Velzard. Then Velika glared at Veluna. I, I am Veluna Tempest, and the youngest daughter of the storm dragon. I am sorry about earlier I didn't know you were Aunt Velzard. Veluna then hides behind Velika. Aunt Velzard, please forgive at whatever Veluna said about you. Please punish me instead. Velika while still lowering her head. H how? Can that brother of mine have daughters? Velzard while still lagging. We are born from Charybdis core, and Uncle Rimuru gave each of us individual egos after splitting the core in half. Velika exclaimed. I see. So that brother of mine told you, girls, harsh stories about me. Because of father's nagging about you and Aunt Velgrind, I had properly analyzed your features in father's stories that's why I recognized you as soon as I saw you earlier Aunt Velzard. Are you scared of me? Velzard asked seriously even though Velzard was strict in the past at Veldora but she did it for his own good because she felt that she needed to do it because Velgrind was just spoiling Veldora. In reality, she loved her little brother equally on how Velgrind loved Veldora. Even though Velzard already had Milam as a niece but Milam didn't even have the time to visit her, because she finds Velzard boring. Now that she had new nieces but her image to them was already shattered. I don't see Aunt Velzard as scary, and I think Aunt Velzard did it to discipline father. Velika answered while smiling at her, I won't please don't throw me off a tall cliff or freeze me. Oh, or force me to eat vegetables for a whole year Aunt Velzard. Veluna while still hiding behind Velika. Seeing this Velzard was happy she saw Veluna on how Veldora was when they were little. Velzard then came closer to the two seeing this Velika and Veluna instinctively prepared themselves for the worst. To their surprised Velzard hugged both of them, you don't need to be scared, I won't do what I did to your father to my cute nieces. Velzard while hugging them tightly, Diablo, Rimuru uttered. Yes, my lord, Diablo instantly appeared inside the office kneeling. You don't have to do this every time you know, I would like to hear your report about Falmouth but before that please ask someone in the kitchen, to prepare snacks for us here. Consider it done, my lord, then Diablo disappeared instantly. Not long after Diablo came back with three goblinas with cakes, cookies, and tea. Velzard was with Velika and Veluna in the coach chatting. Less than less than say ah, dear, greater than greater than, ah, delicious thank you seal. Seal just kissed Rimuru and eat some for herself Rimuru was being hand feed my seal that is sitting on his lap while Diablo was making his report. Diablo didn't look like he was bothered at all and just acted like it was normal for his lord, he even looked like he was amazed on the scene. After about an hour or so, Diablo finished his report. You've done well Diablo, Rimuru commended, please. I am not worthy of such praise from my lord. Diablo while having a wicked smile. Cough. Then I have another task for you. Please find the individual that caused the Lake Shore died scarlet incident. I would like to take her in to serve under me. Hearing this Diablo just smiled, as expected of my lord, 
but I have an even better idea and knew two more individuals that can also serve under you my lord, Diablo exclaimed. Don't worry about that for now, I will go see them personally after you've returned. Amazing, as expected of my lord he even knew about the other primordials. Then Diablo gave a slight bow and disappeared, Belzard, Seal will stay here as my temporary replacement, I will go somewhere and be back later. Rimuru said while looking at Belzard, then I will just wait for you here I still have lots of things that I wanted to ask my nieces. Belzard responded while enjoying herself chatting with Velika and Velina. Velika was really into talking with Belzard, but Velina on the other hand was still having blank expressions. Less than less than don't worry dear, I will tell you if anything happens greater than greater than. Thank you seal. Then Rimuru also disappeared from his office. Rimuru instantly arrived at the old kingdom of Silberia. He then goes near a red lake, and used a little bit of null energy, breaking some sort of seal that is cast within the lake. A young girl with silver hair, that had red light eyes started to emerge from the center of the red lake. Then the girl was brought down gently into the ground. W where am I? Asked the young girl. What about those who broke the pact? And W where is Blanc? The girl was panicking looking at the surrounding. Then she saw an individual with silver bluish hair and big golden eyes, that had a beauty surpassing even famous goddesses. Who are you? The young girl asked, I am Rimuru Tempest, and you must be. Blanche Nam Ul Silberia, I am the princess of the kingdom of Silberia, the girl answered. Then I didn't revive the wrong person, Rimuru uttered. There were hundreds of souls sealed in the lake that Testarossa in the past buried along with Blanche. W what do you want are you also one of them? Well, you'd rather kill me, I won't help you, Blanche said with a loud voice. I am, not an enemy or something, by the way, you're already dead, I just revived you just now, Rimuru said while looking at the lake. Then memories started to enter Blanche's head, he's right I was already dead, and Blanc sealed my body so it won't rot or anything, the last thing I remembered before everything went dark was Blanc smiling at me with tears in her eyes. While Blanche was remembering the events that had happened in the past Rimuru uttered something. You have two choices, you will cherish your new life and come with me and meet up with Blanc or you can go back in your eternal slumber and rest in peace. Why you know Blanc? Where is she? Blanche uttered. We will see her tonight when my subordinate finish picking her up. Rimuru said casually making Blanche think, after a few minutes. Rimuru. No. Rimuru Sama, I would like to cherish this new life and see Blanc Ne San again. Please let me serve under you. Blanche, while kneeling. She really resembles Testarossa, only younger. Rise up, and don't be too formal with me, okay? You can just call me Rimuru. Rimuru just smiled at Blanche. T, then can I call you Rimuru Oni Chan? Blanche said while blushing. Shit. This is so sudden, even on Earth. Nobody younger than me called me Oni Chan. I can't miss this opportunity act it smoothly Rimuru you can do it Rimuru thought. Cough. I if that's what you want then I will allow it, Rimuru while having an I am not interested do as you wish face. Hi. Then I will be in your care from now on Rimuru Onichan. With a cheerful face and cute smile Blanche runs towards Rimuru. So this is what the Oni Chans on earth feel when they are together with young girls that can be considered as younger sisters. Damn. They are so lucky. Maybe I should make all the cute girls call me Oni Chan also aha ha ha. What am I thinking cough? Then let's go. Rimuru just gave a cool smile and wearing an I am cool and not affected by your cuteness at all face. Then Rimuru along with Blanche disappeared from the old kingdom of Silberia.